This is what you call guerrilla gardening. Not gorilla, guerrilla. Guerrilla meaning war. Yeah, I'm a guerrilla gardener right now. I'm out here in front of my nursery over here in Richmond. Look how beautiful that is over there. Uh, look at all those beautiful tropical plants, right? In stark contrast to what the city of Richmond provides, which is stuff like that, that, that. This lovely thing here. Um, what else? Mulch that I put out a long time ago uh, myself and leftover food. Jeez, you know? <laughs> What's up? Anyway, so here I am. I'm trying to extend my sphere of influence. And I thought, what best tree could I put out here? So. I thought long and hard, long and hard, long and hard, long and hard. And I decided that it would be this tree right here. If anybody can tell me what this is, the very astute people out there will say, I know Gary, that is ficus macrophylla. This is it. This is the largest spreading tree in North America. I want you guys to Google after you watch this video, um, Google the Ficus macrophylla, Morton Bay fig tree, native to Morton Bay area of Australia. I want you to Google it and uh, look at it, but especially look at the one in front of the Santa Barbara train station. <laughs> and then after you do that, I want you to imagine what this little tree will look like once uh, it grows up. <laughs> it's gonna be so awesome. Anyway, the city of Richmond won't know what hit them. Uh, but this is a perfect spot. Hopefully no one will hit it while it's little. When it gets big enough, they better not hit it because it'll probably win. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm letting the water, I come out here. These things are great. They're pretty drought tolerant. They're evergreen. They have a massive root system. When you Google and you see how, uh, how awesome this tree is in images, because you can't really tell from my little baby here. Um, but when you see how awesome this tree is, you're gonna understand why I wanna put it here. And you'll also see that these little roots down here will someday be these massive, massive, and I'm talking massive buttressed roots, okay? So uh, there's so much to say about this tree. I need to go to the Santa Barbara train station, do a video down there. Next time you're in Santa Barbara, go to the train station, see this tree. Tree at the, sta the train station was found in 1868. The guy from Australia was like a sailor and he was in town and he saw a cute little girl as the story goes he gave her a little baby tree like that and said plant it out in front of your house and uh, someday you'll have a be big beautiful majestic tree now that tree is like 180 feet across uh, actually i have a free tree giveaway program too we will give you these trees if you can find a public location uh that's something like this where the public can see it and i'll give you a free tree and you can uh uh, you know, plant one of these. Look on my website for the free tree giveaway program at goldengatepalms.com. You'll read all about it. Uh, but um, anyway, girl got the tree and she planted it and the rest is history because like 150 years later, it's the largest spreading unsupported tree in North America. Now what that means is some trees like in uh, Mexico have buttress roots or they have buttress roots, but also have aerial roots that come down and support the tree out of the trunk and it can keep growing further and further. But this tree has no support other than its branches that come out from one central point. And there's nothing supporting it in any direction. And it's like 180 feet across. It actually touches the freeway now, it's so big. Uh, so get out and see that tree. But this particular tree has actually some more relevance because there is also a place you must go, and I must go make a video, called La Mesa Drive. La Mesa Drive is in Santa Monica. And I just happened to run across this street and uh, all these trees one day. I couldn't believe what I saw. Uh, see, here's the big mass of roots. Look, that'll be a huge buttress root someday. And so will that. These are the beginnings of it. This will be huge someday. But anyway, uh, on La Mesa Drive, 
They thought they were planting magnolias. The city planners or whatever, the city works guys, public works guys. But it turns out they weren't magnolias. They got them mixed up with ficus macrophylla because they look really similar. And again, the rest is history. The whole street is covered in these things. La Mesa Drive. You can Google Earth it and look at it. Um, and so, and on La Mesa Drive, there was a very famous author. His name was Michael Crichton. He uh, wrote some wonderful books called, one was The Congo, one was The Great Train Robbery, The Andrew Mita Strain, all kinds of science, uh, sci-fi thrillers. He's most noted for, uh, he did Westworld. He was a guy who did Westworld. That was his concept. He also did Jurassic Park. That was probably what he was most famous for. Um, he lived on that street. And I know where he lives. And uh, he has a big ficus out in front of his street. Guess who went there and picked seeds off of Michael Crichton's ficus? He's not alive anymore. He died of cancer, fortunately, uh, about 10 years ago. But guess who went to his house and got some seed from his tree? Moi. And we have a bunch of these uh, growing. These are the ones that we would donate to someone having a good public location like this. Uh, but guerrilla gardening, basically go out where there's just like utter hell, nothing, and you're gonna make it beautiful. We're gonna make oxygen producing tree. It's going to filter all the dust for the people here. Uh, it's gonna be a gorgeous thing, a bird's habitat, uh, bird nest, you name it. So that's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna keep carrying my little bucket of water out here and water in this tree. And someday you come to the nursery, <laughs> You'll see this awesome tree when it gets big. If you plant them little, they're hardier. So if you're gonna do this, it's always best to plant a little tree. And, uh, and then eventually I'm going to uh, landscape along here because the city not doing much. And uh, we're gonna make this beautiful, just like everything else at my nursery. Just keep spreading your sphere of beautiful influence everywhere you go. You get done with one area, you move to the next. Anyway. There's the nursery. Demo garden still needs to get done. Still working on that. But anyway, come on down. See my baby tree? You can even take my bucket of water out there and water it yourself farming. Thanks and have a great day.